Picture-in-picture picture editing is a technique used in video production where one or more video clips are superimposed onto the main video frame, allowing multiple pieces of media to be played at once. This supplementary content enables you as an editor to give your audience more information on screen without obstructing the primary video. Although this configuration might seem like it may be confusing to the viewer with more than one thing happening at once, we're actually pretty used to it. Just think about the webinars you've attended where you've seen the speaker and their slides simultaneously, or your favourite newsreader giving you the headlines while you watch content from the scene of the story. If eSports is your thing, you'll have seen this technique used while you watch the gamers narrate the action on screen as they play, while reaction videos on exciting Saturday night television game shows use picture and picture editing frequently. When you edit with this picture in picture technique, the pieces of content you use could be recorded at the same time to play back simultaneously, or you might simply decide to add supplementary content in later, which was filmed at a completely separate time to enhance your storytelling on screen. In LumaFusion, you can use this technique by simply placing your supplementary content as a layer on your timeline. That's the video you want to superimpose onto your main clip and double tapping to enter the frame and fit editor. Once here, scroll through the list of presets on the right of the screen and you'll see there's a selection of nine picture-in-picture -picture presets already designed for you, which you can use to place your supplementary content on screen in the position you prefer. If you want to personalize the position of your clip, alter the frame and fit using the preview as you wish, or you can use the sliders to get really specific. Many editors like to save their own preset for their picture and picture editors so that their videos will look exactly the same each time and branded how they like it. So to do this, you're going to position your clip how you like it on screen using the preview box like this. You can even add keyframes if you want to get really snazzy and add movement. And once you're happy with this, you're going to tap the save motion preset icon. That way, each time you add a clip to your timeline and want to use the picture-in-picture -picture editing technique, you can just double tap, head into the frame and fit editor and tap on your saved preset to get the same look and feel each time. So whether you're producing cooking tutorials, news shows, product demos, or simply looking to add a bit more information to your video, let us know how you're using picture-in-picture -picture editing to make your work stand out. And as always, if you have any questions at all about this technique, please do pop it in the comments below and we'll get back to you very soon. That's all from us at the LumaTouch Academy. We'll see you next week.